All right, boys, look what we got in the mail today. I already opened it up just to make sure I have everything. Uh, I didn't really package it together right, but it's all accessible. So, of course, you get your guide, you know. Uh, I guess we'll call this an unboxing. But uh, you get your uh, manual on how to do it, which you really don't need. It's pretty self-explanatory for someone who's built a couple of these. But if you don't know what you're doing, I highly recommend it. And this is your 44 tooth sprockets. And yes, we are doing this bike. Um, I just got done securing the uh, body kit together. It's not secured to the bike yet, but it's all put together now. So that's almost ready to go. And then all we got to do is mount it to the seat and then uh, it'll be ready to go. I got to redo the other one over here because it's a little loose as you saw in the old the other videos I did um, so we'll do that later on but anyway let's get right into this so I'm gonna set this stuff right here um, and here I put the engine back in here and uh, of course you get your throttle cable you get a fuel filter your fuel hose doesn't really look long enough, but well, I have some if uh, it's not going to work. I put both springs inside, so you should have a little spring and a big sp spring. One of them is to go in between the clutch and where the uh, cable runs through. Back here, right here, between uh, here and here. Uh, and then this one is just your heat shield from the motor. Oh, if uh, we can keep these things together, that'd be nice comes with your clutch cable I got a chrome one with it uh, usually I get the black ones but uh, not really a you know performance thing it's just a cosmetic look but I like the chrome kind of makes it look a little bit different some contrast in there never hurts um, and then you get a carburetor I kind of like I like this how they did the oil look that's pretty neat I don't really see that um, of course, you get everything like you'd need to make it run. This is a new engine kit. I said I was going to buy one in the uh, previous video I did of this bike. Um, this is your coil. And I'm uh, not really sure what spark plug's in. I think it's in here. Yeah, here we are. Okay, your spark plug. And this is, a, I think it's a bearing puller or it either splits your cases. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's either one uh, I'm pretty sure um, you can use it probably for both or something like that. I don't know. I've never had to use it, but that's what that is. Or one of the two. Don't quote me on that. Just research it. Then you get your grips. Remove all this so I can open this up. And then here is the engine. I went with the silver one because it looks cleaner. Um, in my opinion, for this bike anyway, I am going to be repainting the frame to either black or blue. I don't know yet. Um, we'll decide. Let me know what y'all guys think. Uh, but here's the engine. As you can see, the uh, piston and rings are already in there, so it's ready to go. All I got to do is put it on the bike and assemble it. We won't do a video of that because it's probably going to take a little bit, and uh, I really don't have time to film it. Or we might do it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but these videos will be in parts if I do. Um, actually, I think we will. But I'll prepare a lot of stuff before I start recording. And then here's your kill switch and then your uh, throttle housing. Okay, so that's it for that box. Like I said, I've uh, put some of this stuff back. I just looked through it to make sure I got everything. And then you get your exhaust here, which we might... Well, we are going we are going to upgrade later on in the future. But this one's going to have to do for now. So we'll set that over here. Whoops. And uh, they gave me a chain tensioner, which I don't know how most of you feel about them, but so far mine's been on that one for about three years and uh, no problems ever, so it uh, runs good. And what you hear now is a fan boat in the lake. But uh, here's the shitty uh, hub adapter or sprocket adapter, whatever you want to call it. Um, nothing too fancy and another thing I wanted to mention was I got an aftermarket one for the motorbike 
Look at that. Yes, we are going to be painting this because it looks like shit. It's rusty as hell, but we have a new hub adapter. And it works perfect. So, <clears throat> we might get one of these in the future for that. I don't know yet. We'll see. I don't want to spend too much money on this build. I mean, because it, it's still going to need a crank and all that, which I have part spikes back there, but I got to figure out which one's going to work. So, I mean, they. I think the mountain bike one will work. <clears throat> anyway, you get your chain. This is your clutch cable here. There's Oscar. There's my first silver motor I bought. The clutch is bad and the uh, crank doesn't uh, spin around all the way. So that one's just gonna be used for spare parts or whatever. And then you have your uh, u-bolt here that's what i'm gonna call it and then you have a uh i guess a piece of uh, flat bar or just the mounting bracket for the uh, top of the motor here then you have a chain guard i never use just don't feel like doing the extra work i'm putting that in and then you have your gas tank which yay for me mine came dented and scratch on the bottom I think I know how that happened, because usually something like that always happens, but it's all right. As long as I got everything, it'll work. I'm, I'm going to use the old one anyway, uh, so no biggie on that, I guess. But still, for those of you who do buy these and it's you're going to use this, it would be quite frustrating, because you want your first build or your build to look clean. And this just makes it look unclean, in my opinion. But anyway, it's going to chip off eventually and probably get dented up if you crash or anything like that, but still... I think that's... Yeah, that bothers me. Anyway, it's all right. I can live with it. At least I got everything. And put this bubble wrap here. And then gas cap. And the uh, brackets for the mounting. So, yeah. This is uh, the unboxing. I guess I'm going to put all this on the bike. We might film it. Let's see. Where's the tripod? All right, let me get it set up and prepared for all that, and then we might, I think we're gonna, we're gonna do it. All right, stay tuned for that, guys.